Sifu, may I ask? Sifu, do you think it's effective? That's not how I taught you. Wing Chun is not that easy. You know, Kung Fu. In particular, Wing Chun is a concept-based fighting system known for its distinct high stances, triangular footwork, short-range boxing, and trapping techniques. Most branches of the art feature three unarmed forms. Unlike karate, bobbing and weaving are not used to dodge punches in Wing Chun. Wing Chun is also known for its emphasis on wooden dummy training. You should accept it, and for this you need massive power. You must know, Wing Chun puts emphasis on economic movement and encourages its practitioners to feel through their opponent's defenses and to utilize the incoming attacks with deflection, rapid punches, and finger pokes. Counterattack. You still have a lot to achieve. And you're still just a rookie. Sensei Kimura. My name is Emin. You're gonna be the referee? Hmm. It's not about strength, speed, or skills. It's about this. Flow like water. Damn. Boom. Hit like a bomb. Be water, my friend. Do you want to try the one-inch punch? Of course. Thank <laughs> you. 
do you want to try the one inch punch? Enough for today. Okay. What is this? Did you fight again? You are so stubborn. What is it again? I had, however, told you not to respond to provocations. You are so stubborn. 
my parents. They want me to leave Hong Kong. It was inevitable you betrayed my teaching. This karate expert, I warned you not to fight this guy. Sifu, they won't change their minds. I was sure of it. You find yourself in the same situation as your friend William. You betrayed my teaching. Sifu, they're mad at me. Well, where do they send you? To America. Mm, really? Out of my face. It was a big step in my young life. My parents sent me to America to protect me from myself. Too many fights. Too many problems. My master was upset with me too. But I had to test my skills. No more rooftop fights. Goodbye, Master Ip. Your teaching will continue to expand. I would love to be your worthy successor. Goodbye, Hong Kong. The little dragon is ready to conquer America. No more Junction Street Tigers. Now it is time to grow up and unleash the dragon. This karate expert was tenacious. Who would have thought that he would cross my path again? Like a demon, he wouldn't stop haunting me until the final fight. Mr. Lee, I remember you. We fought before. Whoa, don't worry. I'm coming as a friend. And what about your master? I don't know. I don't care. I'm not working for him anymore. I was wrong. Fighting you was a mistake. Okay, so what do you want then? I want to be a student. I want to work with you. Oh, I see. You can start tomorrow. Really? Don't be so happy. We have a lot of things to do. And so, what's wrong with your master? He's a strange guy. I don't need these kind of people around me. I have a career now. I am a busy man. I can't pick fights like before. I will show you my cheat condo. Right then. Hey. See you tomorrow, my friend. I'll be there. I just want to be like you. I want to learn Jeet Kune Do. Always be yourself. Express yourself. Have faith in yourself. Don't go out 
and look for successful personality and duplicate it. I was not a good man before. I'm sorry about that. It was a waste of time. Mistakes are always forgivable if one has the courage to admit them. I'm ready to learn now. Knowledge will give you power and character respect. The less effort, the faster and the more powerful you will be. Notice that the stiffest tree is most easily cracked, while the bamboo and the willow survive by bending by the wind. But what I have to do, you know, I'm a karate guy. To me, the extraordinary aspects of martial art lies in its simplicity. The easy way is also the right way, and martial art is nothing at all special. The closer to the true way of martial art, the less wastage of expression there is. You think I can learn this style? A system with no rules? To hell with circumstances. I create opportunities. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, if you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. If you put water in a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. What was that? An exhibition? We need emotional content. Now try again. I said emotional content, not anger. Now try again with me. Don't think, feel. There's like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. Do you understand? Never take your eyes off your opponent even if you bow. You have offended my family, and you have offended a Shaolin temple. My body is letting go of me little by little. But now, so close to the goal, all this pressure, I have to hold on. Enter the dragon is done. I have to
to finish Game of Death. Sam. Take this letter and give it to Lee. I want to show him who is the best fighter. Okay, Sensei. Wait! Come! Tell him he's not a true fighter. Okay. Go! Lee is just an actor, not a fighter. He's scared to mess with me. Because I'm the real master. I've been into martial arts all my life. I know everything about fighting. Don't worry, let him talk. I fought him once, and I won. Bruce Lee, you're a fraud. Take it easy, you're too intense. I dare you to fight me anytime. Linda, I have to go back to Hong Kong. I need to see my master. I want to buy him an apartment. Oh. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mr. Lee, Sensei Kimura, want to give you this letter. This is a challenge. He want to meet you tomorrow at the movie set. He said you are not a true fighter. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just a messenger. Who is it? Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh. Hello? Hello, Doctor. This is Bruce. I need your help, Dr. Langford. My headaches are coming back, Doctor. You have to rest, Bruce. Avoid any stress. In the meantime, you should take an aspirin. Please. Please. You really need to take a break. I'll see you tomorrow. Bruce, I had a fight with Kimura. He is looking for trouble. Be aware, my friend. Your former master is going too far. I'm going to end this madness once and for all. He wants to fight with me. I will show him the full power of Jeet Kune Do. Thank you.
I remember you. You are a stunt man on my movie.
Bruce, I really can't wait to learn the secrets of Jeet Kune Do. When we once fought, you swept me away in seconds. I should have resisted you longer. Tomorrow we need to train together. But I need you to be on time. Don't be late. I want to show you some special techniques. Most of my opponents ask me what style of mar- Look! Look! Mr. Lee, I came to apologize. I'm surprised, Master Kimura. I thought I was unbeatable. And I confess that being beaten by a young kung fu practitioner was a shame for me. I mean, I am sorry I dragged you into these stupid confrontations. Moreover, I wanted to make a reputation by provoking you. I was wrong. And for that, I want to become your friend and your pupil. I was arrogant and jealous. Thank you, Bruce. Please. Don't kneel. You are my senior. I, too, have a lot to learn from you. And together, we can improve Jeet Kune Do. It's over now. I'm glad you became Bruce's friend. My friends, let's spar together now. Bruce, you should try to rest. You work too much. Raymond is very worried, too. I think you should slow down for a while. Try to sleep a bit before our appointment. I don't understand you should see a doctor for this headaches. It's okay, Betty. I'll be fine. I called Dr. Langford already. He said it's nothing serious. In 1973, actor and martial arts expert Bruce Lee experienced a minor headache. After taking Equagesic, a prescription painkiller, Lee slipped into a coma and never awoke. It was determined that the cause of the 32-year-old actor's death was a reaction to an ingredient in the pain medication he took. Recently, a collection of letters written by Lee was found at a flea market. These letters, which have been authenticated by experts, revealed that friend and fellow actor Robert Baker supplied drugs to Lee in secret for several years. This discovery adds Bruce Lee to a long list of celebrities who have struggled with substance abuse. Mr. Chow. Yes. I'm worried about Bruce. He's asleep for two okay. hours now, but he can't wake up. He had a severe headache. God, not again. Don't worry, Betty. Can you send a doctor or ambulance? I call him right away. Goodbye. Thanks. Hello. Dr. Langford, it's Mr. Chow. We need you again. Bruce had some kind of stroke. He is in Miss Ting Pei flat. I can see, Raymond. He can't wake up. Okay. This time it's serious. Bruce had a seizure a month ago. But this time, if he doesn't have the proper medicine, he's risking his life. I have to protect him from the press. I'll come right now. Do you understand? I understand. Thanks, Doctor.
Do you speak any English? Of course, I speak English. You know, baby, this bamboo is longer, more flexible, and very much alive. And if your flashy routine cannot keep up with the speed and elusiveness of this thing, here, all I can say is you will be in deep trouble. I'm telling you it is difficult to have a rehearsed routine to fit in with broken rhythm. See? Rehearsed routines lack the flexibility to adapt. We have to move on and release it. I know it's not perfect, but the people are asking for it. What about this guy, Kim Tai Chung? He's from Korea? Okay, okay, he's fine. I think there are other guys too. Yeah, but there is only one Bruce Lee. <laughs> 